JSON or JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and it is a standard to transfer information through internet. Before we were using something like XML. So this is what XML was looking. Not very readable, hard to work with. JSON on the other side is a great enhancement because it's more readable and it is uh, more easy to use and to parse and it is natively understood by JavaScript. So we can natively import that into JavaScript and JavaScript will be able to understand that without any third-party libraries. So JSON is very great for transfer data from your browser to the server or from the server to your browser. Uh, let's see how we can declare one. Here I have a data.json file, let's hide that and let's declare a JSON file. So in order to do so, we can begin either with arrays or with an object. So you can have something like one, uh, two, three, and that will be a valid JSON. You can also have an object, so something like, like that. And let's say name uh, Vladimir. Very important to know, you cannot put comments in JSON, so no comments allowed, otherwise you will have an error. And also you need to view that as a key value kind of storage. So you have a key and a value. The key should always be in double quotes and the value, if it's a string, should be also in double quotes. If you put single quotes, it won't work. We can also put numbers, so age uh, 30, and you see that here age is red because it needs to be in double quotes. We can have a race inside that object as well. So something like hobbies. Let's put um, music, programming, and traveling. We can also have objects. So you can even have an object inside that array or just plain objects here. So let's put something like skills. So we can have a key value association here. So let's save JavaScript. Uh, let's say uh, five. Python, four, and database, five. Okay, so this is a valid uh, JSON. It's very easy to create and very easy to work with. Here is very well formatted, but when you will be sending that file over the internet, it will be in a stringified form. So let's, so let's import that into our REPL and work a bit with that data is equal to the object. Here we go. So we can stringify that JSON, JSON, stringify, and data. And you will get that formatted uh, data in a string. So let's save that in a string variable. Just copy that. So now we can work with that. If you receive something like that from the internet, you will need to first parse it before you can work with it. So you'll do something like data to uh, JSON, parse, and string. And it will parse the stringified JSON into an object. So we can use it, uh, name, as simply as that. So that's why JSON is so popular and so nice to work with. It has a very nice integration with JavaScript. You don't need a lot of tools and it's very readable. I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe for more tutorials like that and see you next time.